The usual definition of a computer program is simply a list of instructions which a computer follows to achieve something. But let's understand what this really means. Picture a jam sandwich. Making a jam sandwich may seem easy, but it does involve a number of steps and decisions. You'll need to choose the jam and know how to remove the lid. You'll need to understand about how bread is sliced and remove the right number. You'll have to decide how much butter you need, and of course, you'll need to choose the right kind of knife and use it without causing an injury. Simple. But imagine if you were asked to cook a gâteau saint honoraire for the first time. Probably the first thing you would reach for wouldn't be any of the ingredients, it would be a recipe. A recipe is a list of instructions which explain step by step how to create the dish. Essentially, a recipe for a tasty dessert is pretty much the same thing as a computer program, except with a recipe you end up with some tasty food, with a computer program you don't. So why bother making a computer program then? Computer programs are all around us, carrying out everyday tasks which help make life simpler, more convenient, safer and more efficient. From traffic lights to washing machines, and from mobile phones to cash point machines on the high street, computer programs help control and organise almost everything around us on a daily basis, every minute of the day and night. But unless you're planning on designing a new traffic management system, a new aeroplane navigation system or a new banking system, is there really much point in learning how to program? Quite apart from the fact that a good computer programmer is in high demand and can command high salaries, being able to create a simple computer program yourself offers a whole range of benefits, such as organising data, documents, information and finances, searching for information and filtering it, or carrying out complicated or time-consuming calculations. So a computer program is like a recipe that tells the computer, one step at a time, what it needs to do except that those instructions aren't written in a normal language such as English. Computer programs need to be written in a language that a computer can understand. Computers are powerful and very fast, but you know what? Despite giving the appearance of being powerful and intelligent, computers are actually pretty dumb. Dumb, but fast. They need to have instructions written in a language that has simple, clear rules where everything is broken down carefully so that there's no possible way they can misunderstand what you mean. Think of it a little as like saying to your dog, hey, how would you like to get some fresh air and explore the countryside route about now? Or simply, walkies. So what programming languages could we use? There are many, such as VB.NET, JavaScript, C++, COBOL, Pascal, and of course, Python. In this series of lessons, we'll be looking at Python. It's a popular language to get started with, it's reasonably easy to learn, and as it's been around for over 20 years, there are plenty of resources available to help you when you get stuck. So go and make yourself a jam sandwich, or a gato sant honoraire if you're feeling adventurous, and then we'll move on to looking at the structure of a computer programme.